shocking revelations are coming out of Kensington Palace after Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, showed up at an official royal event wearing a loose-fitting blue dress with ruffles in the front covering her stomach. Now, there's a media feeding frenzy over the pregnancy rumors with Meghan's go-to outlets confirming she's expecting. But, that all came after she was caught hiding a sick secret from Harry. Now, we know the truth. Don't miss this. Is the Duchess of Sussex pregnant? That is the burning question. After months of speculation that the marriage was on the rocks, is it possible Meghan's pulled off a pregnancy? Well, one of her favorite go-to outlets called New Idea reported back on September 2nd, she is indeed with child. In very happy news, a Kensington Palace insider has confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex is pregnant and has all but cleared her diary to ensure she rests as much as possible. The news comes after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family, reports New Idea. They add, however, while everyone is excited for the couple, organizers for Prince Harry's upcoming Invitus Games are now scrambling to reorganize the event as they expect Meghan's planned appearance and tour of Australia will be cancelled in a matter of weeks. Of course, Meghan wearing that ill-fitting blue dress with the front ruffles only fueled the pregnancy rumors. And, those who are seasoned royal watchers know this may very well be an attempt to cover up a sick secret she has been hiding. In fact, Meghan's source, who is leaking that she is pregnant, isn't telling the truth, but she has many people fooled. I have a feeling Meghan Markle is pregnant, wrote one royal baby watcher. Another person noted the 37-year-old's glowing skin and shinier hair. But, a source close to Kensington Palace tells us weekly that there is no baby on board for Meghan and Prince Harry. Chalk this pregnancy speculation to an unflattering dress and wind, the insider says. Meghan and Harry have a busy rest of the year. They are excited to start a family but have always wanted to focus the first year of marriage on their official work and starting to bring awareness to causes close to them. That is their main focus before starting a family. So, why would the former suit star fan the flames by wearing that dress? Why would she have her sources leak that she's pregnant? Well, the Duchess is coming off a very turbulent couple weeks, and her marriage is indeed not panning out as she had hoped. Meghan's playing a dangerous game. She forbid Harry from going to Balmoral Castle, which is where the Queen spends her summer break. It is a time-honored royal family tradition, but Meghan used the ruse that she didn't want her husband hunting. Palace insiders, however, told Mad World News she knew she'd be put on the hot seat. Harry also skipped a hunt in December, shortly after he and Meghan announced their engagement, according to The Sunday. The decision reportedly stunned the royal family, who knows hunting is something Harry loves. What's more? Meghan continues to break royal protocols, wearing pantsuits and bare legs at official royal events. The snub is directed at the Queen, which is another reason why the new Duchess begged Harry to skip Balmoral. This doesn't bode well for Meghan, especially when there are royal rumors that Harry's losing his patience fast. The Queen held crisis meetings on issues revolving around the Duchess of Sussex, and her courtiers advised Her Majesty to confront Meghan head-on. The one sick secret the former American actress is allegedly hiding from Harry, however, has to do with her ability to get pregnant. The Duchess opening bracket allegedly closing bracket has issues with her fertility, something she denied to Harry before they wed, the palace source said, adding, the Queen is most concerned about Harry finding that out from someone else. Even though it's not as important that Prince Harry have children as it is for Prince William who is second in line to the throne, it is still something Harry personally wanted for his life. He was looking forward to having children. Now that Meghan may indeed be trying to cover up this sick secret by leaking stories to the press claiming she's pregnant, we have to say this isn't going to end well. She will have to face the Queen and delaying that meeting only reinforces the fact Meghan's scared to death of what other secrets Her Majesty may know. The Queen wants her grandson to be happy, but never at the expense of the monarchy. The crown will always win.
Meghan Markle looks stunning in her latest ensemble and what looks like a nauticable baby bump has thrilled royal watchers. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, has done it again with her impeccable fashion sense. The Sun reports that the 37-year-old Duchess arrived at the 100 Days de Peace Gala concert at Central Hall, London, looking utterly stunning in a bespoke royal blue dress by Jason Moore. The chic media is cinched in at the waist and features a high neck and small leg slit. Controversially, it breaks one of the Queen's style rules showing the shoulders. Tradition usually dictates that royal women don't wear off-shoulder pieces or other more revealing styles. But husband Prince Harry doesn't seem fazed by her bold choice, clutching her hand as they made their way into the venue together. The unusual ruffled design on the front of the dress sparked some speculation on social media that Markle could be showing off the beginnings of a baby bump judge for yourself. Many royal watchers on social media already seem convinced. This isn't the first time that Meghan has turned to Jason Wah for an important engagement. Back in February, she wore a sophisticated navy frock by the designer for the annual Royal Forum event. And she's revisited another go-to brand for her jewel-encrusted heels. The 640 pounds, $1,100, Equid Sir pumps which perfectly match her dress have an open back in a sky-high stiletto. She's holding a delicate black Dior clutch while her hair has been teased into glamorous Hollywood waves. We've seen her Brooks earrings before, and at a cool £9,000, $16,000, it's no wonder she wants to get wear out of them. The concert marked the centenary of the last 100 days of Uwe hostilities. It was held in aid of three charities help for heroes combat stress and heads together. Heads Together is a mental health campaign led by the Royal Foundation, in partnership with Young Minds and seven other charities. The evening included world-famous composer Sir Carl Jenkins conducting his internationally acclaimed The Armed Man, A Mass for Peace. General Lord Danet, a retired senior British Army officer and member of the House of Lords was the one to greet the royal couple. Beforehand, he said, tragically, the First World War did not turn out to be the war to end war but then, as now, by marking the centenary of the end of the last 100 days of hostilities with this commemorative concert, we can't hope and pray for a better future. Part of that better future is helping those who have been affected by war and conflict. Earlier this week, Megan Watt in an Al Trezara suit and hit her stomach with a Stella McCartney clutch as she arrived at the World Child Awards. Supermarkets including Tesco and Asda have launched dupes of Kate and Meghan's designer outfits. And they cost from £18, $32. And Meghan and Kate must always have their chins parallel to the ground, an etiquette expert has revealed. This article originally appeared in The Sun and is republished here with permission. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's new home has two very important rooms that the royal couple allegedly plan on occupying as soon as possible. Radar Online has reported that the couple is continuing to renovate a new home gifted to them by Queen Elizabeth named Adelaide Cottage and are decorating two rooms for use as nurseries as some of their first to be completed. Sources close to the couple are allegedly buzzing that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are already expecting, according to Radar. Harry and Meghan both feel Adelaide Cottage is the perfect place for them to raise a family together, a source close to the couple noted to Radar. But given that they're rushing to make room for a baby, palace insiders are whispering that they could be expecting already, alleges Radar. The couple noted during their official engagement interview that they were planning to have a family as soon as possible. Prince Harry confirmed that he would love to be a dad, and Markle concurred, stating it's her dream to start a family. Adelaide Cottage is located in Windsor, where the couple famously married on May 19, 2018. Windsor is where they got married, the insider remarked to Radar. The couple's new home is just a short drive from St. George's Chapel, where the two tied the knot in a grand ceremony and faded by the town's residents, who lined the streets to laud the newlyweds after their touching ceremony. 
Megan fell in love with the area in the run-up to the wedding and found it charming. And while they'll still be close to Prince William and Kate Middleton, their current neighbors at Kensington Palace, Harry, and Meghan both like that they'll also have some space to themselves, alleges the royal source to the site.